still in the Northside Industrial District, trying to earn a bit more money so we can get a new cyber deck and get the double jump legs and maybe a car as well, depending on how much cash we earn. We've got uh, about 30, almost 30 grand at the minute. And yeah, we're going to do a couple more of the cyber psycho quests. Um, yeah. Just, uh, I realized some more quests have probably popped up. So, um, I'm not going to do everything. Let's just have a look. Have any more quests popped up in other districts? There's the, uh, the bike. All of this stuff over here is like kind of out of our level currently. Very high, very high. Oh, maybe not this one though. So we could maybe head to uh, to uh, to Haywood at some point. Oh yeah, we've got epistrophe as well that we could do with doing some of. But these are all so close to each other, so I'd, I'd like to do these, maybe these three things here, because they'll be quite fun. Um, let's level up. Now, I'm just going to keep piling points into intelligence at the minute. Yeah. And I wanted to get the spread distance thing, which is just so valuable. Because we've already seen how that works, how it really saves RAM. So that means that it'll be like 16 meters, right, on reboot optics. What else would be good here? 10% more damage, I guess that would still work for contagion and stuff. We've not really felt the pinch of that one just yet. Quick hacks that can jump to one additional target. The spread can... Oh, right. So that's, that's even better. So we'll definitely get that when we get to level 14. Oh, it's, it's got three levels to it. Okay, that could be amazing. And the epic quick hacks would be really good as well. Oh, legendary epic? Well, that's level 16. That's level 20. Okay, so epic is the next level and then legendary. Cost of quick hatch reduction, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to pile points into this until... Now, oh yeah, I forgot that one of you told me about these things appearing here. I guess we only had this. That time has finally come. People on the street are now starting to put a name to your face now. You're becoming a meaningful threat in Night City's fabric. Just don't expect to be signing any autographs yet. This is only the beginning. And then this is for Johnny Silverhand. It's got the Samurai logo. Johnny Silverhand has unfinished business with Arasaka. Problem is, he's a prisoner in your head and can't even lift a finger. Now he wants you to work together. Scratch his back and he'll save your life, according to him. But can he be trusted? Absolutely not. <laughs> Initial symptoms. Johnny says you're wasting your time trying to find a solution to an impossible problem. The main thing is to, to remember is not to panic and to stay the course. You've still got enough chew in the tank to pursue all your remaining leads on how to remove the biochip. Yeah, very true. Right. right. How far away are we? Right, I, I am going to drive now. Locate where the ritual took place. Okay, that's a bit scary. Right, we were listening to Moral Rock. I'm going to stick with that. Hey, radio. There we go.
Okay, we should probably go on foot from here. I didn't mean to crash into the can, but never mind. Oh, Mike. Carry your dear sweet grandma around on the ship. Let's listen to this. Or pick me up whenever you need it. Eternal life of a sort. Of course, this is only on offer to the richest and most powerful people. Immortality isn't for squeebs like you and I, the mm. common man. But is there more to it than that? We know that Arasak has been working on mind emulation technology for half a century now. Most notably with the infamous Soul Killer. Mm. You've probably heard of it. It's a net weapon capable of copying your mind to a secure server and leaving your body an empty vessel. And what do they do with the copies? They interrogate them. There's some experimentation. A little torture. You know, the good stuff. So you, a billionaire executive, decide to get yourself copied. So your precious offspring never have to be without your sage wisdom. Or so you can give your annual speech at the company Christmas party. I mean, what would the world do without you? And Arasaka gladly makes a copy of your brain, puts on a ship, and hands it over. But not before making a copy for themselves. And that copy goes straight to digital interrogations, where they pull your psyche apart bit by bit until they've squeezed every last memory out of you. Every compromising situation, every crime, every heartache. Your secret fears and desires. And now you belong to them. Literally. <laughs> yeah, someone in Arasaka's marketing division should get a raise for this one. <laughs> They've taken the most feared weapon in Arasaka's arsenal and turned yeah. it into a luxury consumer item. That's pretty impressive when you think about it. And remember, operators are standing by. <laughs> yeah, man. I really like those. I'll be looking out for more of those. Is that only on Morrow Rock that Pond Smith shows up? Right. right. I like the smart gun, so. Requires very little aim. We've got more red light. Right, um, I need to refresh our memory here because this clearly has. Yeah, bloody ritual. Not everyone's made for Maelstrom. Some, surprise, surprise, don't take. Too, uh, too well to having half their face chopped off. They start hearing voices, seeing and imagining things. Then it's enough to get their hands on a gun and that recipe for disaster. Disaster is ready to serve. A ritual. Lovely neighborhood. Yeah. Right. Johnny? Oh god, did you hear that? What in the fuck? Cultist. Buddy, are you alive? You okay? Lilith has concealed the death circle from the ancestors' eyes. The hell is this? Got a bad feeling, V. Yeah, me too. Better look around. Search the body. An encrypted shard. Yeah. It's time. Gain access. 50, 55, 1C, BD, 55. I love a good mini game. It's time. Everything's ready. The circle is drawn. The lamb awaits the slaughter. Come as soon as you can. We can't wait anymore. My silicon craves blood. Cap cables are crackling. Links are sparkling. Sparking. Modems are groaning so loud I can't think. The abyss is impatient. The abyss is hungry. What the hell is going on?
So there's a circle drawn around Ooh. this bridge. Characteristics of Maelstrom, if not for the atypical colour. Bleeding from the eyes and numerous stab wounds, no indications of resistance. What the fuck was that? Serious man, why? Blood all over the wall. An old freezer contents ice, <laughs> possibly related to net. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally chopped human limbs and entrails. Man, I want to leave. Johnny? Hey, look. There was someone sat over there. Huh. Grimy. V, we got company. Oh my God. Zarya Hughes. Man, that was so scary. I just panicked. V, we got company. Yeah, you don't bloody say. Right, she's going to see us no matter what. She's not activated yet. The floor's electrified, so don't go over there. Breach! Oh my god, she's nails! Okay, no contagion, we want reboot optics. She's so fast, we, we could do with that cripple movement hack, right? V, we got company. Yeah, you don't say, man. I'm hiding. Wow. I 
I'm doing like no I'm doing like no damage now. No way! <laughs> There's no way, man. I can't do enough damage. V, we got company. <coughs> There's no way, man. There's no way. Maybe a shotgun. So she's gonna shout bless Faber and then we're then it's on Seriously, man. Breach again. <laughs> I'm dead. Floor being electrified is just such bollocks. I should be using a grenade, shouldn't I? What am I thinking? V, we got company. Right, let's. Uh, we need to use a specific kinds of grenades here. Okay, blinding, recon, no. Sticky grenades. I think that EMP is the uh, probably the best shout here. Oh man, we've got level two ones. Let's be This is nuts. Oh, 
Oh no. Yeah, Reboot Optics is more useful here. Oh. Ah. We've nearly got her. We got her, we got her. Oh my god. My frame rate is just tanked. The boys have prepared everything and found me a lamp. Blood will course through the fiber optics, swirling and blending with the digital, opening the gates of the abyss. Death within arm's reach, the metallic taste of his scythe on my tongue. I will tug at the tangled cables of fate, a hard reset, a blue screen, a brain reformatted, I'm ready, look, be with me. Wow, that was unreal. Zarya Hughes. Wow. Wow. Oh, did I go on the wrong, um... Yeah, I went on the wrong one. Something about this ritual went wrong, seriously wrong. Places covered in guts and blood must have had something to do with uploading the brain to the, into the net and straddling the border between life and death. Only the girl who jacked in could handle it. She went psycho and started tearing into her tombs. I thought women were more resistant to cyberpsychosis. Anyway, at least we have her alive. It's true, women are less likely to get it, but uh, all the better we have her alive for more research. I thought nothing could surprise me anymore. Boy, was I wrong. wonder what she heard through those cables, what caused her to crack. I'll keep looking into it. In the meantime, I'm sending you your cut, bonus included, property developer tossed in token of their gratitude for freeing up the building that Maelstrom was squatting in. Not bad, eh? Looks like this was supposed to be some trip to the other side in a tub filled with ice and the blood of innocence. Maelstrom never ceases to amaze and disgust. Yeah, man. Okay, so that makes it a bit more clear. I thought she, they were like sacrificing all those guys for her and she was like a vampire. Techno necromancers, without a doubt. You better pay me for that. Two grand, is that it? Right, there was a, an access point around here somewhere. Yeah, up there.
Come on, dude. Thank you very much. I need some extra money. Wow, that was so stressful, man. <laughs> Okay, so 55, oh a 7A, not seen these before, this must be a, a more expensive one hopefully. 55 ones, 7A ones, what's we can do? Okay, we can do this. Okay, we got like a thousand for that, that's good. Oops. I'm never coming back here. NCPV has shown up. What the hell is this all about? No, no, please, no. No, no, please, no. No way. Right where we parked. So if we do a reboot optics, it's going to spread, surely. No, no, please, no! Shit, what's that? No, no, please, no! No, no! Please, no! Bloody maelstromers, man. No, no! Please, no! One good scar! Oh my Got god! And I am getting slapped about in this episode. Am I going to have to do that breach again? No. That's awesome, they just kind of appeared here. Police are, are all dead, man. Another sidewinder. Oh my god, look at all this stuff. Head east. Go on then. Good lord.
Do I really want to do another Cyber Psycho now? Not really. You guys crashed into my new bike. <coughs> we lost everything. Yes, Samurai. Sorry. Okay. Okay. What are we gonna do? So we've got. I've got 31 grand now. So that's enough to buy double jump legs. Uh, but we won't be able to get an upgraded cyber deck, which I feel like is going to be pretty important now because we need to have like having cripple movement and uh, we need a few more because ping is only really useful for stealth. Reboot Optics is useful in either, to be honest. So maybe one more, one or two more gigs, and then... Yeah, I'm not sure, man. Have we been to this Ripper Dock? I don't think we have. I feel like upgrading my... Um, cyber Deck is more important. So I'm going to go to this Ripper. Can't remember if we've been here. Now we could probably do the Epistrophe quest, right? Damn maelstrom, man. Is it because it's night time? Oh, yeah, this is where we took Jesse. Wow, this has been so chaotic. Yeah, this is where we came for the tiger claw thing. See what you got, man. So, operating systems, we're still short on... Oh no, we don't want that anyway. Biodyne, nine base rams, six buffer slots, and four quick hack slots. And this is the one we bought... Oh no, this is the, our original one. Oh right, so this allows us this oh covert quick hacks, okay that's fine. So the Biodyne Mark II, a practical and amply spacious cyber deck, one of the more basic and affordable models known for its substantial performance output. Hmm. Ten grand. I feel like there were ones better than this for a similar price for maybe like twelve grand. It just depends whether we've got the street cred requirement for them. And the double jump legs. Fortified ankles. Uh, it's reinforced tendons. That's 30k. We could get that right now. And we can just maybe make do with our current... Because we don't have any version of this, right? Whereas we, we still have our uh, cyber deck. It's just we just need to upgrade it soon. Sooner rather than later. I think we just get these, man. Would have made it makes some missions so much easier, I guess. The, the problem is though, like some like when we were stealing that video footage from the Maelstrom place, we would have been able to get in and out like really quick. But that means we wouldn't have got any of the access points, any of the loot to sell, and then so we would have been lost out on like more than double our pay if we would get in places quicker. So it's tricky, but I feel like it's. In the long run, it's it's going to be of a benefit to us. So, 
I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them. All our money. <laughs> no way we can buy anything else. Right, how the hell does this work? Let's uh, let's find a better location to test this out. More samurai. Oh god, what are you guys doing? Alright, let's try it. Whoa! Oh my god. Oh, come on now. Okay, it's not like insane. But it just means we can definitely get on top of certain places. Can we walk on this wire? Absolutely not. Alright. Okay, okay. Gotta decide what I'm gonna do next. We could do with just padding out our wallets just a little bit more here. Just so that we've got a bit in reserve in case we need to bribe someone. This really isn't a good amount of money to have on us. Um, and this is like right next to us, so it can't... Could it possibly be any harder than the last one? There are a few certainties in Night City. Super sketch, stomach melting street food, politicians choked by corporate leashes, and the echoes of screams heard coming from the Tottentown's club. Oh wait, and one more. If you step foot down the wrong alley, your head will probably roll out the other end. All right. Let's hit a quick save here. We're not running out of ammo just yet. Now I can already see a body. Cause of death. Quantity of blood indicates deep wounds, traces of alcohol present. Is that another melee attacker? There's a shard there as well. Now we can take them out stealthily. Right, we're in the we're in the zone of the attack. Aha! So he's round the corner. So I think if we used Reboot Optics... No, I don't want to blow that up. Okay, he's behind something else. Careful now. Oh god, I am in a bad place. Oh. <laughs> Crap. 
Stop it! Double jump away! I don't know what is it. He looks like a maelstrom. Huh? Oh, don't do that, mate. This gun is so cool. It's also not what we should be using. Shit. Yeah, he'll, it, the contagion should get him here. Come on, contagion. Get him. Oh. My God. A skill shot. Archive conversation. Oh, Brick. Okay. What the fuck are we going to do, Brick? Got a bad feeling Royce wants to fuck you in the arse and he's got people to back him. We've got to do something. Where the fuck have you been? I'm 100 fucking percent sure he's gone in for my reins. Been a walking corpse since yesterday. My advice is to get the fuck out while you can. You're rolling over. We have people too. Jesus, Brick. I'm not going to work for that rusty gum stain <laughs> and that fucking psycho douche smirk of his. Don't write that kind of shit, Al. You believe in me so much, believe me when I say you've got to get the fuck out. Oh, fuck you. Shit your shorts all you want, but I won't let Royce get away with this. What was this guy's name? That is Ellis. Wow. So he was like ro lo royal. Loyal to, uh, to Brick. Uh, I, I did see a shard when we scanned. I'm not sure where, where it was. So maybe these guys were from Brick and they all came to kill him. See ya. Oh, there it is. Your trauma team policy has expired. Dear client, we regret to inform you that your TT policy has expired due to lack of payment. Please remember to activate your card immediately so we may continue to keep you healthy and safe in life's most dangerous moments. You can't afford to hesitate when your livelihood is at stake. Of course you can't. Um, there was an access point near here as well. Oh, it's up there. We can get up here no problem now, right? <laughs> Amazing. Alright, alright. Yeah, we, we can't get this, really. Oh, 
Nice. Right, let's search his little hidey hole here. Oh my god, look at all this. He just murdered all these people. Blood loss from multiple wounds, evidence of drug use. Oh, so he was killing off, like, junkies. Wow. That's really grim. Today's your day to clean up after Brick's pet, or else the boss man finds out we made a rabid, rabid dog out of the corpse he wanted. I swear to fucking god, he makes more messes than he cleans up. It's kind of like having your own, own trained cougar or some shit. For real, even howls and growls and shit so much I can't sleep. What the fuck you do that he screams so much? Just showed him what happens when you stand up to Royce. It was Dor's idea to strip out his old chrome. Plus we beat his face like it was a fucking ski-filled piñata. Can't really talk no more, just howls like the traitor bitch he is. But that means you gotta grab the mop and clean up all them fleshy bits and blood he leaves lying around after dealing with our problem customers. I'm gonna stink it up in here soon and scare off all the eddies. Now get him inside and away from the fucking trash cans already. Ain't complicated. That is horrible. They just mutilated him because he was because they thought of him as a traitor. That's insane. It was a gang dispute. The guy was one of Brick's people, tried to take revenge on Royce. You can guess how his solo attempt at a vendetta panned out. Got pumped full of drugs, tortured and made into this wild attack dog of a bouncer. As requested, I didn't flatline him, but honestly, I doubt there's much left to collect. In the mental sense. Yeah, that's, that's horrible. So I scrounged up some more info. It looks like the guy was Brick's only devotee left. All his other followers turned coat in half a millisec. I'm not sure he can be saved, but maybe we'll at least learn something new about the onset of cyberpsychosis. Nice work. That is so unbelievably grim. Right. That is so grim. Alright guys, let's... I think what I'd like to do now... I'm not going to go and do this mission. I think we've done enough side questing. We've got like a nice five grand in the bank. Um, we can probably sell all those guns to Wilson as well. So I'm going to head... Uh, I'm going to try and get this Barry quest triggered again. So um, I'm going to head back to my apartment. The Bloom! Let's take our sweet new bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the garage is on the left here. Right, 
Right, let's go and see if our car is actually here. Is that our car? I don't think it is. Okay, I guess it is our car. Maybe it only appears on the map when we get off this this uh, this vehicle. No, that's not our car. I wish this was. We need one of them. Oh, we can't summon the vehicle in here. All right, we'll, we'll deal with that later. I just wanted to maybe check the, if we could get, the, get the, the skins on that car. Right. 70% real blood dripping meat. Slaughterhouse. Satisfy your instincts. So I'm going to go check on Barry, and I'm also going to update our hair. I feel like we've earned that at this point. Just see if there's anything else I want to stash. I don't think that there was really. This smart pistol was crap. Just, you can't get enough shots out. I really didn't like that. Um, I I need to try that sniper rifle out, right? I don't think I need to store anything. Right, let's change our appearance. No. What the Don't hell? Don't believe it. <laughs> wow. Right, thanks game. Right. Can we try that again? Right, I'm going to change our eyes and uh, change our hair. Alright, the menus are all green now. So I'm just going to maybe go back to the originals. No, let's go for the, uh, the, the those gold and black ones. Yeah, I'm down for that. Right, and hairstyle wise, uh, there was a short hairstyle that I've not tried. This one. I know it looks kind of militaristic, but. Um, wait, what did I just change? I just changed our eyes, didn't I? Now let's just not do that for a second, because I, th I think I changed something on my face. Now, I might change the cyberware at some point, which would be pretty cool. I think I am using a mod for that as well that makes them black. All right, sorry about that. Let's do that, and then hairstyle, this one. And then hair color, I was thinking maybe this one. It's like a weird purpley blonde one. It kind of matches our eyes, right? That one's a bit much. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go for that. And then there are some other slightly longer, shorter hairstyles that we can use as we move forwards. But I think it kind of matches the eyes, so... Let's do it. Hmm. 
and that I'm happy with that. Right now, let's go and check on. I think it's Barry, right? Barry. Barry, can we, can we maybe hack the door? It's this one, right? Barry, am I remembering that right? Who is it? Nice. Z, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then, you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. You don't forget a gunk thing like that. <laughs> you gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? You all right? Okay. We've not been able to use the body option. People like us have to get used to loss. I guess because we lost Jackie, right? Just wanted to see what's shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. Think I've got an inkling as to why. Seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges I'm, don't I'm get not. a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. You get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. You too. Come in. Hi, mate. You need to clean this place up. <laughs> yeah, I lost my best friend, mate. I lost someone close to me, too. T-Bug as well, right? Friend. What the hell what happened to t too? Wait. It's about Andrew. He, uh... I told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. Hmm. Guessing things at the NCPD haven't changed a lick, huh? One time, a Maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. I couldn't do shit. The son of a bitch had corporal protection. Ah, <sighs> typical. Our chief greases his palms with an anonymous donation. And guess what? Officially, kid blew his own brains out. Right in front of your eyes. Something died in me then. I couldn't do it anymore. A few months later, Andrew passed and everything went to shit. I wonder if that story has anything to do with the one we read about them killing that kid. Right? So, did you not have any friends on the police force? You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? And Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. According to him. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly, thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Okay. Better that way. What happened to him? Can you tell me how Andrew died? Does it matter? <sighs> Normally. Oh. From old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City? <laughs> that merits a monument. Yeah, fair enough. The whole world should gaze up at it now. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do. Yeah, so he's like a father figure to you, someone to look up to. So then Andrew was more like a grandpa to you than a friend? <laughs> Wouldn't go that far. He was like a... Uh, I don't know. A window into the past or something. Hmm. He reminded me of my gram-grams. About our little talks. <sighs> Time when everything had its proper place. You know? Hmm. He was the last living record of those times. 
Yeah, he's being a bit cryptic. Yeah, uh, everyone's got their limits, mate. I, I understand. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. What? Don't only the strongest survive. If you felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care. Alright, stay strong, mate. New episodes every Wednesday at 10. Oh, really? <sighs> Already? Good luck, mate. Alright guys, um, we're going to leave that episode there. Now, uh, I would go and sell all my stuff off camera, but there's always a risk that in walking over there, someone rings me, right? So I have to do it and edit it out and stuff. Are those his buddies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, do we, so we, should we talk to them? <laughs> it's you. You talk to Barry. He finally decided to get his shit together. Well, cry out loud, Mendez. Yeah. What did he tell you? Did you tell anything? That, did he tell you anything about Andrew? Hey, so what exactly did Barry tell you about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once he was the only one who could understand him. It's nice to have someone like that. Yeah, he's he's pretty caught up. We had a little chat. He seems chilled, but seriously down in the dumps. I think he's got a bone to pick with Mendez. What? So why doesn't he say so to my face? Ah, oh, shut up, buddy. Hey, you... You're just a bit of an arsehole. I mean, look at that goatee. Clearly, he couldn't stand his job and didn't have anyone to talk to about it. You said you didn't even try to understand him. See? Was I right? <sighs> Give me a break. Barry likes playing the drama queen. You just gotta shake some sense into him, trust me. We'll see. We'll have to check in on him later. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Oh. Really? Fair enough. Well, thank you. Has the quest evolved at all? Oh my god. I have a psycho... Okay, try talking to him in a few hours. Okay, right guys, we'll leave that episode there. I hope you enjoyed this one. We struggled like crazy with the cyber psycho, but we got there in the end. And uh, we're going to head to the afterlife in the next episode. So, I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a thumbs up if you did, and just remember everybody, never trust an on crate. I'll see you next time.